Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. This is just gonna be an extra video that I'm gonna put out this week because the day, March 1st, that my booth opened, I was done, I was excited, feeling like this energy and I wanted to go thrifting. And boy, did I get a haul. In fact, some of the people in the store were like, where did you find all this stuff? Did you get here super early? I'm like, no, I got here the same time you guys did. So I'm super excited to show you what I got. A lot of the stuff is turnkey, so I can tag it and put it straight to my booth. And I'm, I'm learning the value of that. Still doing DIYs. My plan is to do a thrift flip video um, on Friday but I wanted to show you all the fun finds that I have. And I promised the ladies I wouldn't be back for another week that work at the store, but we shall see if I can keep that promise. So let's just get started. Let's start with something that I'm keeping for myself. Okay, so the lady that was putting out the stuff told me that there might be two of these, which is why I might be back this week because she's like, maybe the second one didn't get put out. Look at them. I just think he's super cute. Um, he was listed at $10. I don't have my hair on my face. He was listed at $10. She said that there was a second one. Now, I did use my 25% off coupon on this haul, so $7.50. I'm keeping him for myself. And I really like the coloring, but there's some stuff going wrong right here. So I'm kind of um, glad because I wanted to try to make this look a little different. I probably wouldn't have done it if there was nothing wrong with it. Let's just go. This was $4. Again, all the stuff is 75 or 25% off. As is. Put it straight in there little tray. I got two of these. Um, listed at $2 a piece. They are from Hobby Lobby. I will probably do something else to them to show the people how to use them and sell them everything together. Um, I did get some false graph. Figured this would be cute like in the summer. I'm planning to do like a blue color in the summer. So this was $3. This guy was $5. Salt. I got two of these at $4 a piece. I thought they'd be cute for staging things up, especially with if I'm using this blue. Did I pay too much for these? This is, I'm new to this, this world, but I figured somebody would like them and they would go along with my theme that I'm planning in the summer. Also, I got these guys. These were a dollar each, so 75 cents a piece. There are four of them. Thought they were really cute. And then these little melt glass, they were a dollar for both of them. Thought that would be, this would be super cute. Just cause they're little. Now, apparently I have a thing today for elephants. This was $6 for the whole thing. This is staying with me. $2.99. $1.99. And then 99 cents. Now, they are not super heavy, so they're probably like a brass plated. But because I have three kids, I love little figurines where there's three of them. Especially where, like where they're walking in a room like this. Now, back in the fall, I did this to some of my own stuff. 
I I had some gourds and stuff, just like this. They've got to be from like Pier One or something. Cause, and I painted them white and they looked really good. So I got this one for $2. This one, not my colors. This one was $3. And this one was $3. And my plan is in the fall to paint them white. Since I tend to do that. I got this for $3. It's like legit bell. This is going to come off. And it's going to be really cute when I'm done with it. But, like, this is heavy. And then I got this little bunny. Let me know in the comments below. Should I paint this bunny apothecary? It was $3. It's cute. It's got the little pink. I might just try to put it in there as is and see how it does. Because it is nice and neutral. The th I've sold four things already at the booth. Two of them were my apothecary um, birds. Like first day, I sold a um, a crate with milk bottles in it and floral, and then I sold a gravy boat. This is my transition, and I got another gravy boat. And this one happens to have a plate on the bottom. I paid three dollars for this. Apparently, I like elephants. I like the color of this and the crackle of it. it. Needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. He was two dollars. Fifty cents. Look what I did. It's like this fun little wooden Christmas ornament. It's enough elephants. Then this is for my, my best friend and I. Like I'm not gonna give it to her, but this is what I've always joked around. This was a dollar and thought it'd be funny just having it in the booth. And it says it retails on here for $7.99. This was $3. I just thought it was really pretty. A lot of them, you can feel the divots on the outside. This is on the inside. But I just thought that was really pretty. Now, a couple of videos ago, I don't even know how far where I did the, um, words, cutting board, <laughs> cutting board with the burlap and the like apothecary paint it white burlap apoth or paint it white burlap IOD transfer. So I got these cute little guys for a dollar and my plan was to do the same thing with them. This was $2. I like it as is. It's just it's got that gold, probably from Hobby Lobby. I thought this was really fun. Now I paid $5 for it. It's very heavy. But it's perfect as is, and it retailed at Home Goods for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. So that is going in. I got three of these guys. They were twenty five cents a piece. There were three of them. I thought these would be cute if I like made a little wood box around them, and then put like three little sprigs. Boop. They're thin enough where they could get, they would be really cute on a um, windowsill in the kitchen. So. Also, I'm ready to do a couple more tiered trays and I need more rounded silver. Um, this was a dollar. Well, it's $2 on the back and a dollar on the front. Don't know which one I was charged. And then this one might be for my kitchen. This was $5, but look at that fun. Put it in the microwave, keep food in the refrigerator, but it's cute. Yeah. I am like a sucker for funny t-shirts and signs. So 
this just needs to be in my booth. Even if no one buys it for people to laugh. Well-behaved women rarely make history. A dollar. Now, this looks like it's glass, but it is not. And it is big. I may have paid too much for it, $8. But again, this is all 25% off. But I figured the size of it, I could charge a little bit more because like you're getting these big sized canisters. $8, $6. This one retailed for 25, this one retailed for 20. I will probably spray paint them black and then don't know what color I put on top and then distress it back because like there's just some pretty, it's metal. I think it'll distress nicely once you get the base coat so that the red doesn't come through. There was a time in my life where I used red everywhere. I am done with that time in my life. These, I think I'm thinking, keeping for myself. They were a dollar a piece and they are little candle holders, but they're just so precious. Then there's three of them. There's three of them, huh? Look, big sister, middle sister, little sister. Yeah, they're staying with me. This will be pretty out at Christmas time. All right, I paid $3 for this one because there's not a top, but thought that that was really pretty. And then this is a little vinegar container that has a top. And I paid $5 for this one. It's 25% off. I want some fabric in my booth. This was $2. Some bright colors. Done. This was a fun basket. I paid $4 for it. I am going to probably, this might be in my video on Friday. Um, watered down antique wax on it. Probably going to put a thing of burlap and a transfer on the top. I think that would be really cute. I got a little bag of rocks for a dollar, but they're not any rocks. Live, nothing, faith, hope. piece just rocks some of them are just rocks and laugh and love were the last two so I figured for a dollar these could be cute like any beautiful clear container with some greenery up and out the top. These are brand new. They still have tags on them. And just for the wreath, they were worth it. They were, I thought they were cheap. They're five dollars a piece. And figured I would wait till Christmas and I got two of them. And I could get my money back. Are you ready for the really exciting one? All right, so this week the color was red. So I guess, I think one more thing back there was red and I got half, I think one more thing back there was red and I got half off, but look at what I got for half off. I've always wanted one of these. A vintage sled. It was listed at 40. I got it for 20 and then 25% off of that. So yeah. People were like, uh, where did you find that? And I'm like, yeah, it's basically been here for a month somehow hidden because it has to be there that long to go half off. What can I say? It was my day at the thrift store. So that is it for this haul. Stay tuned this Friday for some upcycling, probably of some of, some of these pieces and adding a little bit more. I've got to stock my booth, so my upcycling needs to be kicking it up a notch. So 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to all so that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye. I was about to clean this up and then I realized I didn't show you the two big humongous things. Henry is super worried, but look. I got these very solid pieces of bookshelves for $15 a piece and 25% off.